Hey everyone, welcome back to Pokemon Rejuvenation. Hope everyone is staying happy, healthy, and safe. On the last bit, we had a small portion of story which had us battling Rin. And we also got started on the Sashila Village help quest, or help request, after we received the HM for Fly. The first help request that we finished entailed helping a man recover his memory, capturing an Absol, and as a reward, we got the Absolite from it. So on this part, we're going to be taking on the last three requests here and clearing those out. So what we have left right now is Badland Baddies. My sister fell, and I need to get stronger. No prizes for guessing what the last one is. So on to Badland Baddies. There are a group of thieves down at the ruined city. Just take care of them. Hmm, that was short. It's to the point, though. Will you accept this mission? Yeah, sure. Um, just going to the ruined city won't really do you much good. They have a nasty vile bloom that knocks you out if you get too close. Perhaps there's something we can do about that. I'd recommend heading to the research center. You'll need to head to the top of the village and surf west. So that's information we should obviously have at this point. Since you technically have to head to the research center for the first request, but still, nice to know. So all the way down here is the research center. I called it the library earlier, but it's really not that. And we want to talk to this guy over here. What's wrong? Do you need something from me? I see. You wish to take care of those thieves down at the ruined city. Yes. You'll find it a much more difficult task with that vile plume running around. Yes, a much more difficult task indeed. If it weren't for me, I've developed a sort of serum that makes you impervious to Vileplume Sleep Powder. I call it the Insomniac Serum. As long as you spray a bit of this under your nose, you're good to go. So, do you want me to spray a bit on you? Well, it's gross, but okay. It smells a little bad, but it's effective, and that's all that matters. There. You should be all ready to go for a couple days. Go get those thieves. And he's right, that's all that really matters. So before we actually head there, I want to make a little bit of a note. You're going to want at least one blast powder before going in there. Otherwise, you might have to make some return trips. So with that said, I'm going to meet you outside the village and we're going to head on over to the ruined city. So from outside of the Sashila village, we're going to head all the way over here, over to, well, the Rune City, it says it itself. And the moment we come even close to it, the Vile Plume will try to put us to sleep, and it's going to fail. So the city is ours to wander. Previously, what would happen is you would come over here, the Vile Plume would put you to sleep, you would get mugged, and you'd wake up, like, on the other side. So we're gonna start probably over here. This might be a good place to start. So over here, we can rock climb, obviously, and we can grab the Zygarde cell. And there's not really anything in here on that side, so we'll ignore that. And instead, we're going to move into the center. We can find a sunstone in the center as a hidden item, so I guess that Valplume really wanted to be a Blossom, I'm not really sure. And we can actually make our way around the back, Rock Smash, and using Strength to push that out of the way, helps us get into these rooms over here. Again, 
more rock smashing, more strength boulders. So the right side will get us a rare candy. And now for the left. On the left side will just get us a relic hopper. That's kind of a ripoff. But it's fine, we still have more to do. So if we push that out of the way, we can make our way all the way back over here. And again, we're going to have to go around the back, which is unfortunate. There's a ground gym right there. There's also... That's not important, actually. But there should also be a protean over here. This building doesn't have anything inside of it, though. It's sort of like some sort of jail cell. So we're not going to be doing anything inside of there. Unfortunately, we do have to go all the way back around here to get into this room, or building. And this one is a little bit crazy. It kind of looks a little bit overcomplicated, mainly because it looks like you're supposed to maybe push the strength boulder up one, then push it over, but nah. It really isn't that complicated. And for our trouble, we get a Relic Silver. So, a little bit better than the Copper. I mean, I'll take it. Next up is going to be these buildings down on the south side. So inside this building, we should find another rail copper, unfortunately. And there's also a mining rock, which is blocking our way to a Zygarde cell. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to mine this mining rock. And I'm going to switch the hammer, just speed this up. And since I really don't care about what's inside of here, I'm just going to spam this button right here and collapse the rock. We'll be left with this dud, which we can reopen with the blast powder. And again, I don't really care about what's inside of here. So I'm just going to spam this really quickly. And with that, we can actually get to the Zygarde cell. And that's pretty much everything that's here. There's a ton of hidden items. I definitely recommend that you go around and pick them up on your own time. There's absolutely nothing here. You can't even get over to the back. So, before that battle interrupted me, as I was saying, there's really nothing else for us to do here except come all the way over to this building right here. And you might want to save right in front of it. Order your party how you want, and go in. Don't take another step. You won't leave. We'll just have to make you. Wait, why are we doing the team Zen pose? I don't know. Just fight already. So these are the thieves that we're meant to take care of. And they're honestly not that bad, so I don't even have notes for them. I'm just going to go ahead and aqua jet that semi seer and. Amoongus will probably survive a hit. Or actually, it might not. Of course, Crawdon got burned. Yikes! This trainer is way too strong. Even for us. There's nothing more we can do. Oh, okay. And we don't actually want to go up there quite yet. You probably want to leave and heal. And save. So after you've gone ahead, healed up, saved, and come back, re-enter and get ready for an actually pretty tough battle. What? What do you want? We're just trying to live here. Don't even try talking sense into this one. They just see us as the enemy, so they want us gone. 
But we're not leaving. So buzz off already. Alright, so that's actually a pretty tough battle. I only have my Alolan Muck left. If you're having trouble, try to get only one side left. Just take out the four Pokemon on one side and just have a 2v1, basically. Ugh. Why are you people so persistent? We have nowhere else to go. Understand? Nowhere! Why can't you just let us live here in peace? You're Team Zen scum. Why would we ever let you live here? You all try to mess up our world. Why would we show you any kindness? Because we aren't Team Zen grunts anymore. Huh? Don't try to pull the wool over my eyes. You're clearly dressed the part. You've also got the annoying nagging down pat too. But I'm willing to... Nah, humor you. So let's hear it. What's this excuse you all have? It's not an excuse. We all abandoned the team. We just couldn't take it anymore. We don't want to have any part in it. We're not here to cause trouble. We're here to hide. Hide? When you join a criminal organization and decide to quit, you don't get to hide. If you didn't like what you were getting into, why join? Listen, we won't use Vileplume anymore. We just needed quick cash. We also needed a lookout. Please don't kick us out. I cannot believe what I'm hearing. You all need to take responsibility for your actions. You all deserve what happens to you. There's nothing else to say. So we could either convince him, or we could evict them. And of course, I'm going to have to show this both times, so let's start with the convincing. You can't be serious. You want to show mercy to these people. They joined a criminal organization, and now the same organization is after them for deserting. Just what do you expect to happen? And in Adam's old house? I don't think so. Adam? Yeah. <sighs> I cannot believe this. Just forget I mentioned that name. You. You just... You're just like Adam and Alexandra. You always have to see the good in people. I don't know if that's a curse or a blessing, but I suppose it's sometimes necessary. Alright, listen up Team Zen Fools. You get to stay here if you want. But if I hear even the slightest complaint from anyone, I will personally make my way over here and hand you over to your superiors myself. Whatever happens to you then, that's up to your glorious Mad Max to decide. Thank you. We won't cause any more trouble. We promise. We'll see. Hey, I see. Uh, sometimes, I do get a little ahead of myself, and that's my fault. Alexandra's always there to keep me level-headed and rational. Sometimes, I can do things with good intentions. But they end up with horrible results. On the other side of the coin, Alexandra can be too kind, and it's bitten us back. We took in refugees from GDC, and it ended with some of our villagers getting hurt. From then on, Rylan and I decided that everyone but us were enemies. But then, 
Alexandra and Rodin's brother, Adam, brought me back. They showed me the ramifications of my extreme ideals. Two extremes are bad, no matter which side you're on. That's what my father told us. There has to be a balance. Are you okay, men? I'm fine. I'm just garbage at expressing my feelings. It's awkward and uncomfortable. I want to stop. But I promised Adam that I wouldn't. Adam and I were best friends since we were young. We actually grew up in Alamisa before it was attacked by Team Zin. Yo, bro. What are you doing all the way out here? Adam. Nothing much, bro. Just chilling out here before I head back to Sashila. Thinking about the past again, bro. I guess I am. I'm just wondering what life could have been. Life could have been awesome, but that's done now. What's the use in feeling blue? It's already happened. Just forget about it. Bro, I can't just forget about it now. It's engraved into our history. You and Eve lost your parents. Aren't you upset about it? Yes, I am. I am upset. But getting emotional is lame, bro. I'm not saying it's cool to bottle things up, but it's also not cool to let them fester inside. I've made my peace with my parents' fate. With my fate. <laughs> You're stronger than me, bro. I always think about what would happen if I did just move on. Would my parents be proud of me? Or would they think of me as a coward? Moving on. Cowardice? Total opposites. I think it takes an incredible amount of strength to just move on. To just give it up and make things in the present better. That's how I look at things anyway. But that's the thing. I can't give it up yet. There's still a fire inside of me, and it won't stop burning. It's telling me to get stronger, use my strength to avenge my fallen, kill every last Team Zen member, and then make the world pay for forgetting us. You're starting to sound like Eve. You don't want to be like her. She's your sister. Shouldn't you be defending her? I don't have to do anything. Well, I do. I hate seeing this side of you, you know? It's ugly. And you're the opposite of ugly, alright? So sit down and just chill. I won't. I won't chill until justice has been brought. I can still hear my parents, crying for help. I couldn't do anything. I couldn't do anything. Because I'm a weak fool. You're not weak. Stop calling yourself that. I am weak. I won't be able to change this world if I don't become strong. Me and my Pokemon. We both need to become stronger. Become stronger for who? For yourself or your vengeful thoughts? For me, my parents, and my sister. And what about me? And what about you? I care about you. If you go down this path, you'll destroy yourself. 
this ugly side of yours. It's... It's nothing but... Don't worry about me doing without whatever. Just mind your business. You... What? Nothing. I... Gotta go. Adam, what's gotten into you? You just don't get it. What just happened? What did I say? After that, we stopped talking. I continued my path and he continued his. And then one day, he just got up and left. Didn't tell anyone. At the time, I didn't know what I did. I hurt him that day. Even after my confrontation with Adam, I still slip up. I do the wrong thing. My hatred and lust for revenge comes up when it shouldn't. I don't like to admit it, but it clouds my judgment. What I've been trying to say this entire time is... Thank you for keeping me centered. I couldn't do that back then. I lost my best friend because of it. Thank you. Thank you. There, I said it. I said thank you. I gotta get back to the village. That was heartwarming. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and go through that horrible battle again, and we're going to see what else he says. Alright, so I actually had an easier time battling them this time. That took with one left. So this time we're going to be evicting them. Let's go. Starting with you, scientist. Out. You're making a mistake. I'm doing the right thing. That should take care of these fools. Thank you for seeing things my way. Sometimes I feel like I'm being far too harsh. But it's my people over theirs. So whatever happens to them, not our problem. Your reward will be waiting for you at the help center. Yeah, he doesn't really say much, does he? So I think that actually covers it for all of the cutscenes, so we're going to go ahead and head on back to the up center. And as we make our way back to the center, he'll meet us here actually. I see. I'm sorry, but this mission isn't quite over yet. I've gotten reports of shady activity out by Sandstream Cave. I wouldn't be surprised if it was just so happened to be those grunts we kicked out. Let's go take care of them before they give us any tr more trouble. So yeah, if you did choose to let them stay, then you would be done right now. But if you chose to evict them, well, you have more work to do. So I'm going to meet you out by the front of the village and we're going to head off to Sandstream Cave and take care of things there. From the entrance of Sashila Village, we want to head all the way up north this time. And right around here we'll find Damien and the bodies of the Team Zen members, or ex-Team Zen members in this case, that we evicted. What's going on here? They've all been decimated. We only kicked them out. Who could have done this? That would be me. You're another Team Zen grunt? But I've never seen one like this before. Correct. That's because I am an ex-grunt. There are only a few of us in existence and we prefer to keep ourselves hidden within the shadows. But unfortunately, 
these deserters had to make themselves more trouble than they were worth. I couldn't let all this work go uncredited. I chose to reveal myself. A Team Zen grunt killed their own kind? Correct. That is the purpose of an X grunt. Usually we deal with this situation differently. There are certain special cases within our ranks. Those who cannot be reached by Madam X herself are hunted down by us. So you're an assassin. That's correct. Those who are unfit to be in our presence must be eradicated. You two seem shocked. Is that not how mafias and gangs work in society? If you betray your own clan, you pay the ultimate price for it. This is no different. They chose to abandon ship and, in turn, their lives. You're heartless. I'm heartless. I'm not the one who evicted these people. I heard all about what you two have done. These grunts are whiners. If you never kicked them out, I don't think I would have found them. So, I must give you my utmost thanks. You are a great help. I helped Team Zen? You did! And you should be proud. You're helping us pave the way for a new future. A new cycle. I've spent far too much time here. I must bid both of you adieu. Wait. Damn it. I fucked up. I fucked up so hard. I was being too harsh again. I should have let them stay there. I see. Just go. I'll bury the bodies. I'll take care of all this. So if you chose to evict them, your request will officially be complete and you can go ahead and head on back to the help center. Either way, we can go ahead and claim our reward for this. So we'll get some cash, a link cart, citrus berries, and some Rosalie berries. So that's not too bad. That quest is mainly there for the lore. So anyways, how about a much, much easier help quest? My sister fell. My sister and I were playing in the desert, even though mommy said not to. We went too far and a harsh sandstorm began. So we entered this cave and my sister fell off the bridge inside the cave and now she's gone. I need you to find her for me. Sure. Great. I'll mark you down for this one. If you ask me, it sounds like this girl fell into the voidal chasm. It's east of Alamisa Urban. Not too hard to find. So we visited the Voidal Chasm way too many times at this point, so I'm just going to go ahead and meet you there. Right here inside of the Voidal Chasm, we're going to be heading down a few floors. This is nothing that we haven't seen already. And they really do make good use of this area. So we're going to be heading into the room right past this one. And then we want to start by rock climbing right up here again. And we're going to enter this room right here. But instead of going to the left earlier when we saved that man from the Absol, we're going to take a right and rock climb all the way down here to find this girl. Oh, thank goodness. I thought I would die down here. You're here to save me, right? So there's a couple of options you can do. If you say good luck down here, you get to talk to her again and there's a couple more options where you can basically mess with her head but it's nothing too damaging but I'm feeling nice so of course 
Yay, I knew it! Are you ready to leave now? Or do you have somewhere else you need to go? Let's leave. Yay. Okay, let's leave. We made it! What a nice miracle. Now I get to go home and have fun with my sister again. Oh, happy day! Happy day! Well, that didn't last long, did it? So we're going to be... So as I was saying, we're going to be chasing after that Mandibuzz, and again, they make really good use of the area. Right up here was a rock climb spot that previously did not have anything up here at all. So now you know what it's for. And with the Mandibuzz taken care of... Wow, that was really scary. Good thing you're here for me, though. Alright, let's get back home to Mommy and my sister. Yeah, this is kind of comical, isn't it? We're gonna spend a little bit more time chasing this kid, unfortunately. So that's completely fine. So I'm just going to get to the rock climb spot down here. And we're actually going to be heading all the way over towards the obelisk. And you'll see the executor, he's just shaking right in front of the kid. And I'm going through the kid, that's kind of weird. Please help me. I'm so tired. I can see the village. Thank you for saving me, trainer. I'll go back home now. And that is the third help quest completed. It's really, really short and a little bit comical. So let's go ahead and get our reward. So back here, we can talk to the clerk. And our reward is going to be another small chunk of change. And the Abomasite. That is really weird to say. Anyways, that leaves one more help quest for Sashi Love Village. I need to get stronger. I've traveled far and wide and have not been able to find a suitable trainer. At least, not since then. I am in desperate need to become stronger. Someone, please spar with me. Sure. I shall be waiting at the base of the village. Meet me there. Oh, we will most definitely meet you there. Before we head down and meet our mysterious challenger, I actually have a new party member that I want to add to the team, as well as a returning one. So I'm going to start by adding this new Clefable with Magic Guard to our team. And I'm going to go ahead and add, where is it? The Hitmonlee to our team as well. We're going to be battling in doubles, so this is why I actually want him on Lee. So these are going to be our starting Pokemon right here. Hitmonlee has not changed a bit, and it's not really supposed to. As Wide Garden, that's all I really want. The Fable right here. This is a dirty set. It has Stored Power, Minimize, Cosmic Power, <laughs> Moonblast. So if you don't know, Stored Power gets more damage the more you raise your stats. So between Minimize and Cosmic Power, you become nearly unkillable and you just sit there blasting everything with Stored Power over and over and over again. So we're bringing back Hitmonlee mainly to be fodder to cover for Clefable here. That should work out nicely. Also, I should mention that I do have max HP EVs. That's mainly because 
if you use the Odd No Trainer and you're grinding these things up from level 20, it just kind of does that. And that's pretty beneficial. Also has Magic Guard. And that's for a good reason. Clefable's better abilities are Magic Guard and Unaware. You don't really want to run Q-Charm. But I guess you could if you really wanted to. Also, in case you've forgotten how to get a Clefable, you have to go all the way back to Route 3, go through the Faisal Cave out into the moon field, and on that moon field, in Saturday, at night, you will find Clefairy. And you can capture one of the Clefairy. It comes at level 20. There's a good chance it's going to hold a Moonstone. So it's like a complete package. Anyways, I'm going to save right here, right in front of Nove. You want to save in front of her no matter what. Let's see what she has to say. Ah, I see. What are you doing here? It's been so long since we've last seen each other. It's good to see that you're still doing well, though. I must admit, this is the last place I'd expect to see you. But if you're here, that must mean that this is fate. I haven't had a good battle since our last. So please, spar with me once more. So just for demonstration, I'm going to say, hold on a second. And she will say that she's going to wait for us here. Don't trust her. She starts the battle anyways. I'm pretty sure that's just a bug, but you know, it happens anyways. So starting off this battle, we have a Cantonian Ninetales holding charcoal. It has Heat Wave, Solar Beam, Nasty Plot, and will wisp for attacks, as well as Drought. I think I already mentioned the Drought. Executor over there has Chlorophyll for an ability, so it has double the speed under the sun. It's holding the Wise Glasses. It has Energy Ball, Psy Shock, Sleep Powder, and Hidden Power Fire. So I'm going to start off this with my strat here, which is to use Wide Guard on Hitmonlee. It's going to protect my team, or both Pokemon on my side, from the oncoming Heat Wave even if Hitmonlee faints. And since Hitmonlee is also a fighting type, it's going to be bait for Executor's sh Psy Shock. So, so far so good. This is going to give me my first opportunity to go for my first Minimize. So that's Hitmonlee down. That's the Heat Wave block, and that is plus two evasion on my Clefable. So, I should also mention that on this field, the Executor is going to be losing HP. Grass and Water types do lose HP, about 1 8th of their max HP per turn, if Sunny Day is up on the desert field. Of course, something to also remember is that they'll gain HP if they get hit with a Water move. Anyways, I'm going to Aqua Jet that Ninetales. It's not much but I'm basically going to be foddering off my entire team while setting up with Minimize and Cosmic Power on Clefable. So you're gonna see most of my team just gets absolutely wiped out. My goal with sending out Cronaut was basically for it to be bait. So instead of making you watch me suicide my team members one by one as I set up Clefable, I'm actually thinking I'll go ahead and skip to the point where Clefable is all the way set up. So I'm actually all set up. I'm max evasive myths, and I'm max defense and special defense. Unfortunately, the Ninetales managed to set up a couple of nasty plots in the process, so it needs to die ASAP, or faint, actually. And the Executor is next. Executor continues to try to put me to sleep. So next up on our team is going to be a Sand Slash, Cantonian again. It has Life Orb for an item, Earthquake, Stomping Tantrum, Rock Slide, Knock Off for moves, and it has Sand Rush, which is active on the desert field. As always, she does take absolute advantage of the field. 
So I find being put to sleep really annoying. I'm going to hit. All right, you can knock it out for me. I was going to knock out the executor because I was finding it to be really annoying putting me to sleep, but she did that for me. So, next up is going to be Tessarina holding the Assault Vest. It's very bulky with its special defense. It has Power Whip, Knock Off, Play Rough, and High Jump Kick. Also, Queenly Majesty for an ability, which means you can't hit any Pokemon on her side of the field with priority while it's on the field. Also, Lycan Rock, Midday Form. It's holding the Focus Sash. It has Rock Slide, Drill Run, Excel Rock, and Protect. Also has the Sand Rush ability, which, again, is active on this field. So it's going to take me a turn to knock out either one of these, so it's kind of whichever one I want to do first. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that Tessarina, since Lycanroc has Protect anyways. So it's going to take me two hits to knock that out, but I really don't want this sweep to go to waste. So I'm going to go ahead and go into my pack and... We're going to heal Scum a little bit. I'm going to drop a Hyper Potion on Clefable. That's going to go for a really, really long ways. And then we're going to finish knocking out this Tessarina since Lycanroc over there has Protect. She's gotten lucky and she's hit me a couple times. Anyways, her final Pokemon and her ace is going to be her Passimian. It has the Assault Vest for an item, has Iron Head, Close Combat, Rock Slide, and Seed Bomb for Dax, and it has the Receiver ability, which means if I were to faint that Lycanroc, it would take its ability Sand Rush. So let's get rid of that Passimian. And unfortunately, the Passimian. Oh my god! It actually did that to us. So that is one flaw of this strategy. If we get critical hit, somehow, anyhow, then it goes through all of our boost. I'm gonna set this up again. Right, so things actually went really, really well, aside from the fact that I had to spend like five minutes setting this up again. So the Lycanroc is spamming protect. The Passimian hit us with a Iron Head right there. You saw how much that did without the crit. Also, she didn't lay a finger on me this time, so that was pretty good. So she's just down to her Lycanroc, which is spamming Protect. So, one hit to drop it down to its Sash, and I only have one Stored Power left, so if it does Protect, I have to knock it out with a Moon Blast. But that's completely fine. So this time, we have defeated Wander Nove. Such is fate. I definitely did get stronger, but I'm still not where I want to be. I appreciate that you're always there to battle, but... No, never mind. It's not important. Thank you for your help. I hope we see each other soon. I see. So, you're not really supposed to use this on a doubles battle, it's a lot harder to set up in that case. However, I'll probably use it on one more singles battle. Or rather, I will use it on a singles battle just to show how effective it can actually be used there. Probably not something notable, like a gym battle. And then Clefable is going to get put away forever, because it's just downright scummy. It's a lot of fun, but it's scummy. Anyways, we're going to claim our reward for that. We're going to get some more cash, and the Scented Lure. Oh wow, Scented Lure. That stuff is really rarely made in Sashila, despite originating here. They say you can find a rare Pokemon in Sandstream Cave with that thing. I heard it's closed off right now, though. Try talking to the gatekeeper? He's somewhere in the village. 
absolutely right, there is something we have to do before we're allowed to enter the Sandstream Cave. So to do so, we have to surf all the way up over here, get down on this side of the village, and there's someone that we have to talk to right over here. And that someone is going to be this NPC right here. What's that? We want to get inside of Sandstream Cave. Sandstream Cave is dangerous for people who aren't experienced trainers. But, I suppose you'll do just fine. I'll have someone let you through. And with that, I'm going to meet you outside of the village. We're going to head to Sandstream Cave and we're going to plunder its riches. So now to head to Sandstream Cave, we pretty much headed, went there already. This was during the time period where the Team Zen members, or former Team Zen members that we kicked out, were evicted. So this is Sandstream Cave. So there's a lot of cool things you can do here, and unfortunately, we can't do any of those things. The reason being is we need a certain Pokemon, Hippopotas, to show up. There's two ways of doing this. One, we could enter and leave until that Hippopotas shows up. So there's one right there, but I don't think it's the one we need. Or we can actually change our clocks to nighttime and it'll be there for certain.